What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're recording on the GoPro 10 this time. Brand new camera and we got a brand new car for you today. I don't know, I don't know how you guys are gonna feel about this, but it has been a while since we brought something different to the channel. And I'm getting kind of tired of the old school cars, the classic cars. I think it's time to move past that for a while. I think a lot of you guys maybe get a little bit tired of it as well. So we're over here at Insurance Auto Auction today where I won a 1980 two i think k car yeah 1982 k car i got it for 235 dollars now the great part about this is number one it was cheap number two this is a charity so the money goes straight to charity so even if it turns out to be a complete dud number one we're not out much money out the door price about 430 bucks not bad and the money goes to a charity so you can feel good about that now instead of standing here just talking your heads off for a while why don't we take a quick peek at what this bad boy is tell me when is the last time you saw one of these old 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 k cars i'm gonna tell you right now the last time i saw one of these i think was in planes trains and automobiles in fact i'm pretty certain this this may have been the car in plain no i'm kidding i'm kidding it wasn't the same car obviously that car was burnt down now yeah the top is uh the top is destroyed man the top is no good so that's the first thing we're going to do is drop the top i don't care about the top am i going to fix the top nope probably not probably not i don't know I'll, I'll tell you what i'll do i'll get a quote for a brand new top and if it's a reasonable price and if the car has no real mechanical issues sure sure we, we we can look into that I'll, I'll be willing to do that for you guys if you're interested in seeing it with a new top otherwise uh no otherwise no and you know I'm, I'm i'm looking at the car for the first time i bought this sight unseen i just saw it at auction i was like oh okay that's something different sure sure we we got to jump on this you know it's it's in relatively good shape and 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 you know that means not great shape in relatively good shape someone has cut the speakers out uh there's the bottom for the uh steering column the seats in really good shape at least this one is the dash is okay it's not great but it's okay the rest of the interior actually looks pretty decent we got the uh, parade cover which is red that looks nice somebody cut the metal out of the trunk there that's that's interesting and there's stuff in the trunk too oh boy oh boy um we gotta open these these latches here i am very very intrigued <laughs> let's pull the plastic off uh oh wow yeah she she's uh she's rough man she's rough that's okay though we specialize at taking these old forgotten cars and putting them back on the road again right now obviously this car is not worth anything even in good condition this car is not worth anything unfortunately it's just the way it is it's not worth anything uh, who remembers chrysler th doing this these trunk latches right man i love it i love it okay now i believe these uh these cars came with two different engines a 2.2 liter chrysler engine that was notorious for blowing head gaskets and a 2.6 liter which was a mitsubishi engine and that was the engine you wanted in these cars i have no idea what's under the hood of this i really don't um oh that's a 2.2 that's a 2.2 well shoot i <laughs> was hoping for the was hoping for the 2.6 i i'm fairly certain this is the 2.2 uh, is this carbureted is that a holly carburetor yes it is that is a holly carburetor hot diggity wow with an electric choke looks like a newer fuel filter attached the ac still has a belt on it wow okay the battery looks new that's an 8 of 21 battery so somebody just put a battery in this this thing might actually start up on its own wow okay well it's got good tires i'm not sure who put these wheels on it that they ugh, come on man whatever whatever it's got a good set of tires though uh yokohama avid touring s so it's got a nice set of tires yeah all the way around nice set of tires oh, what do you think 
Well, I think number one, somebody left the ignition on. So it's dead as a doornail. So I guess we better go get the booster pack and uh, hook it up. I brought just about everything I could think of with me. Gas, um, air for the tires, a plate, because you know, you don't want to be going down the road without a license plate. Yes, it is labeled as a run and drive. I don't know. I don't know. It's a hell of a long drive home. I don't expect we're going to get far in it. But that's what makes these videos so much fun, at least for me, is the unknown. Sometimes we win and they make them home with no problems. And sometimes we lose and they overheat uh, a certain BMW and uh, leave you on the side of the road. Yeah, she's not happy about that battery. So already the booster pack is a little bit upset with us here. There we go. Maybe we'll get lucky and this was some grandma car, you know? This isn't one that talks, is it? Uh-oh. The car is making beeping noises. It runs. Oh, you are kidding me the top works and it works very well I might add the top works very well you got hand crank windows so you know they'll go down it actually runs great oh man tell me how cool hold on how cool do I look in this car right now right I'm telling you this is what gets the chicks right here okay does the AC work I'm going to say that's going to be a resounding no. We got it on max AC, though. The odometer is showing 17,500. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's not 217,000. It's probably 117,000. The power steering is coming back to life. There we go. I'm going to say the power steering may be a little low on fluid. A little low on fluid. Does it go into gear? Oh, well, she sure didn't like that, did she? She moves forwards and backwards, guys. Okay. Well, I am going to take the keys off the keychain and we are going to go see what's in the trunk. All right, well, I wasn't able to get into the trunk. I tried the key that I have uh, that I took off and I couldn't get it to work, but it looks like there's a set of wheels and tires in the trunk. I don't think you could fit all four of those back there, but we'll try to figure that out later. I did put the parade cover down. Obviously, I'm not gonna ride around with that top. That's awful. It's bad enough that I'm driving this car to begin with. Uh, Obviously, AC doesn't work, but I can tell you this, she's running great. We're about to find out how she drives, and that, I think, is maybe where we're going to run into a problem. I, I don't know. I don't know. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. But we'll go ahead and shut the hood. The alternator is charging at 14 volts. What do you guys think? I'd almost send this to Mako. You know what I mean? I'd almost send this to Mako and tell him to throw a fresh red paint job on it. Make it look beautiful again. I don't know. Was this car ever beautiful? I, I, I don't think so. She needs gas. She's out of gas and it's probably running on some really, really old crap. One of the other things I noticed is we got a Virginia safety approval sticker here from 5 of 20. 5 of 20. So I'm guessing that's like their, you know, uh, safety inspection or whatever. So it obviously passed inspection a year ago. This thing may have actually been on the road. I guess we're going to find out for ourselves. Let's jump in it. And let's take this long journey back to the house and uh, we'll find out if it makes it. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ready for this, guys. The horde works. All right, here we go. It's in drive. All right. <laughs> I, I, let me tell you something, guys. If I don't say it enough, I love what I do. I, I really do. I love what I do. This... <laughs> Turn signals appear to be working. The brakes work. This is great. This is truly great. Let's see if it shifts. 
Oh boy, she's slow. Yes, it shifted. That's second gear. <laughs> wow, she is very slow. I, I mean, there's another gear, I think. Or I don't know. Maybe it downshifted. <laughs> this is. I have so much fun going to the auction and buying these crappy cars that you just don't know anything about, especially weird cars like this. An old K car? Are you serious right now? And she's she's getting it, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, we're doing 40 miles an hour. This was a $250 car, basically. Okay, okay, $450 if you really want to get technical. But seriously, look at her go. Oh, you know what? There's a gas station here. This is perfect. Let's stop at the gas station and put some fuel in it. And I'll tell you something else. These seats are super comfortable. And I just got out of my Bighorn. All right, I drove my 2021 Ram 2500 uh, Longhorn Edition up here. And I'm here to tell you, these seats are very, very comfortable. I wish we had more gauges to see if we were like, you know, overheating, like temperature status and things like that. I guess, I guess we don't have that. All right, we made it to the gas station. Let's get some fuel and get back on the road. All right, we got a full tank of gas. The miles are 17,501.6, and here we go. Let me try to back up out of here. Definitely needs a little power steering fluid. I don't see anything, I don't see a puddle or anything from where we just left. So that's good news. All right, power steering is starting to come back to life a little bit. Here we go, on the road again. Boy, she is slow. I mean, from a dig, she, I mean, okay, she's slow period, but from a dead stop, it's, it's, it's pretty bad, guys, it really is. Ugh, she's slow. But she's eager. She is. This car is eager to live. It's like, come on, man, let's go. She's ready. Let's do this. Here we go. All right. My goodness. How could a car this slow be legal? This shouldn't be street legal, man. If you're not careful, this car gets you hurt. <laughs> this car gets you hurt, man. All right. Let's see if we can get her up to 45. That's the speed limit. She's not pulling at all. It actually rides pretty decent. Okay, we're at 45 miles an hour. I'm pretty sure I hear a hub bearing. I think that's a hub bearing. I'm pretty sure it's a hub bearing. I don't know if you guys can see the instrument cluster or not, but there you go, 45 miles an hour. <laughs> oh man. How about that, guys? Tell, tell me, how do I look? How do I look? <laughs> we got Jessica behind us in the truck. Big shout out to her for helping me out with this. Uh, oh, we're going up a hill and we just dropped about five miles an hour. Oh boy. <laughs> this car. There we go. There we go. We're going back down the hill. Now we're speeding up again. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to cruise this thing for just a little bit. We'll come back in. Uh, the shocks are good. The shocks are really good. That was a big dip, and it handled it like it was nothing. We'll come back in a few minutes, and uh, we'll see how she's doing then. Well, guys and gals, I'm here to tell you, uh, this is probably one of the best riding cars I have ever picked up from auction. I, I find that extremely difficult to say because of what the car is. But this thing is ridiculously comfortable to drive. It is slower than molasses going uphill in winter. Uh, but aside from that, once you get her going, it's actually a very smooth, comfortable ride. I, I can guarantee you we've got a, a hub bearing. I'm still trying to figure out which one it is by ear. And I'm having a having a hell of a time figuring that out. I don't know which one it is. It's got a hub bearing going out. You know, it's kind of loud at first, but as, as you get slower, it gets better. Now I'm gonna show you guys how slow this car is. 
Yeah, everybody's got to stop and stare. You know what I mean? People, people got to stop and stare. Look at the, look at the speedometer. Okay, I'm flooring it. It's floored. There's 25. There's 35. There's 45. It just shifted again, and now it gets real slow. Okay, and we're going up the hill. Okay, there's 55. 60. 65. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, she's a dog, man. She, she's a dog. But for being an old, 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 fairly rare car by today's standards, I guarantee you don't see many of these on the road. And with what I'm going to presume to be relatively low miles, 117,510 miles currently on the odometer, um, the brakes are perfect. It doesn't pull, it doesn't vibrate, it doesn't shake, shimmy, it doesn't smoke, it hasn't leaked anything. It's just an honest old car. We'll find out if the lights work. I know the signals do because my fiance turns her signals on when I do uh, before we come to a stop and she doesn't know where we're going. So the signals are obviously working. The radio has been removed. The air conditioning does not work, but I, there's a few things the car could use, but honestly, it's a nice, comfy, old car. I, I kind of love it. Leave the top down, obviously. Don't bother putting the top up. Leave the top down, drive it in fair weather. It's like 75 degrees out here today. Beautiful day to drive a convertible. And I've had several people already point at the car. Now, I don't know if they're pointing and laughing or if they're just pointing because it's like, whoa, look at that. It's an old K car, a Dodge 400. And what makes it even more rare, it survived this long and is still running and driving on the Chrysler 2.2 engine. That's unheard of. Chrysler 2.2s were junk. They were always junk. Somehow this one survived. Must have belonged to a grandma. I don't know. Anyway, guys, we are still on our way. I guess we'll reconvene here shortly when I, I believe we're going to make it to the house. I do. I believe we're going to make it to the house. So we'll reconvene when we make it home or when it breaks down on the side of the road. I don't know. You guys comment below right now. You think it's going to make it? Or do you think it's uh, going to be dead as a doornail? I think she's going to make it, guys. I do. I got faith. Let's get it. I gotta take just a second to thank each and every one of you that watch these videos for making this possible. Seriously. Um, I have a lot of fun on the channel and sometimes I get bored on the channel as well and honestly I've gotten kind of bored with the old cars. It's sad uh, but I, it's true. I've gotten kind of bored with it and making video content on those old things has kind of been like yeah here we go again making another video. But man right here this old K car brought the fire back to me, man. It, it, it's crazy. Such a cheap old car that most of you probably don't give two craps about. And this is the car that just like invigorates me. It, this is what I have so much fun doing. Bidding on cars, sight unseen, and dragging them home from the auction. And finding out, is it a good car? Is it a crap car? Is it gonna make it? Is it gonna break down? I absolutely enjoy doing this. And I'm not exaggerating, I'm not acting. I know there's a lot of acting going on on YouTube. I'm not acting on this. Like I legit love doing this. I love doing this. And I wanna thank each and every one of you for making it possible for me to do something that I love. Well, I said it was gonna make it home and it did. I decided to go ahead and check the lights real quick and. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, lights work. They sure do. Uh, Jessica said the brake lights work. She said that the signals were working fine. We got headlights and marker lights. You see that right there? Marker lights or uh, corner lights, whatever, are working. Headlights are working. Horn works. Cooling fan just kicked on. That's, that's always good to know because there's no temperature gauge in this. What a great little car. It's missing some trim pieces uh, along here and along here, but they're back here. We got lots of trim pieces back here. Uh, I guess my next question is, uh, do the windshield wipers work? Well, I already know that because I tried it. Yes, they do. Huh. Needs a radio, some speakers. A little bit of work, but not too much. Let's see if it's going to fire back up. That's my question. Is the battery good? 
or is the battery dead as a doornail? Then I want to get into the trunk because I'm really curious to see what is back there. Good Lord, this thing's got a lot of keys. Yeah. If she fired right back up. I'm here to tell you, man, <laughs> the old girl runs great. She does. All right. Now, to get the key out, just in case one of you watching is going to have to buy this car. All right. This. Turn it off. There is a lever right here where, my, where this finger is pushed down and twist. All right. Otherwise, the key won't come out. This had to belong to an older person for a while because it says, uh, this says like, door this one says door this one says trunk this round one says trunk this one says door and i think the other one says ignition so yeah you got a few different keys there let's check the trunk see what's in it moment of truth here let's see if we can get into the trunk this time because i'm just curious to see yep there we go what do we got okay we don't have wheels we have uh we have some material. I'm not sure what that's for, but some some material with some soft padding on the back. We got a. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at this. There's the radio, guys. There's the radio. I wonder if we could hook this up. The it looks like a couple wires have been cut though. This is a another fine product of the Antenna Specialist Company. What is this? I don't know what that is. Some way of plugging something else into it? I don't know. Then we've got lots of wheel covers. The uh, the old wheel covers, man. Wow. We have a bezel for a headlight, presumably. Some more junk. It does have a spare tire, which has air in it. We have a jack. Oh, the rear view mirror is in here. I didn't even, okay, yeah, the rear view mirror is missing, but it's in the back seat too. All right, we got a, what is this? This is a package. Let's see what this is. Um, this is, oh, hub-centric rings. Guess they never put them on. Okay, well, there's your hub-centric rings. We've got some antibacterial towelettes. And what is this? Wheel installation kit. Oh, this is important. Wheel lock. Wheel lock. Very good. Very good. And then we got a hula girl down here too, guys. Look at that. We got a hula girl. Oh, dude. This is too much. <laughs> We're doing too much over here today. The hula girl. Yeah. Well, she don't fit very well. She don't fit very well. There she goes. She goes right there. Look, look at, look at her. I don't know. You know, somebody, somebody got in trouble for these a while back. Said it was offensive or something to, to Indian people or or Islanders, Pacific Islanders, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. So we better not do that. But anyway, I'm curious if we can put this radio in though. I'd like to see that radio back in there. And it looks like it's even got some, uh, some golf balls. I needed a new pair of balls. I haven't had these in a long time. The uh, center caps for the wheels as well. Very impressive. Very impressive old car. Well, I went ahead and fired it up one more time. Just wanna let you guys hear it run one more time. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh-oh, we don't wanna talk about that car though, no. This car, guys, you know, this is one of those cars that if you really love it, you could spend a lot of money on it. You know, I don't know how much a convertible top costs, but it's probably well over what I paid for the car. Um, the car is not worth anything. You know, let's, let's just keep it real. The car is not worth anything to very many people. Not many people are going to be willing to pay anything for this car. Um, and that was evident by me winning the bid at 235 bucks today. It runs great. It drives great. I, I can't say enough good things about it. But unfortunately, this just isn't one of those cars that you can go and spend a lot of money on. It doesn't make any sense to spend money on it because number one, the views aren't gonna be there. So I won't be able to recoup the money from YouTube. I mean, it's unlikely. Then next, uh, the resale value on this is, like I said, it just doesn't exist. 
It just doesn't exist. But maybe, just maybe, one of you watching out there has been looking for an old Dodge 400 and you've just been waiting for the right one to come along. Well, I'm here to tell you this one, if you've ever been waiting, this one's it. This one's it. I don't BS on my videos about the condition of these cars. I don't. I don't need to lie. I don't need to try to cheat people to sell cars and make a few bucks. The money comes from YouTube for me. The cars are just recouping some of what I'm typically losing. So it makes it a very unique place for me to be because most dealers will lie to you to sell a car. I, I, don't, I don't have to do that. I can go to bed with a clear conscience at night because I tell you exactly what you're getting and every time you get it, you come back and you tell me, thank you for being honest, you know? And, and I appreciate those of you that come back and tell me that you bought one of my cars and it turned out to be a good car for you. I really appreciate that, it means a lot to me. So I'm here to tell you as a salesman, I gotta be a salesman for a minute. Uh, if you're looking for an old K car and you just been waiting for one that was a good solid runner and a driver, man, this is it. This is it. I have no use for this car. I'm not gonna keep this car. In fact, we may even send this car right back to auction in this very video. We'll probably take it out, give it a quick bath. Hell, I may not even give it a bath. I'll probably just leave the top down and uh, send it back to auction and we'll see what we can get out of it. For me though, I think this is gonna be it for this video, guys. The mileage right now, so you can see how far we've driven. Uh, the mileage is sitting at one, uh, 17515. 17515. I don't, even, I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see it? Hopefully you can see it. Uh, the check engine light works. It comes on when you turn the engine on. I don't know if you can see that either. Let me, let me turn the car off and then let me, See it? Bingo. Check engine light works. It's not on. This this thing is great. This thing is great. I have no use for it, but great little car. And with that, I think we are gonna get out of here. I gotta go get me a sandwich. And with that, we're gonna get out of here. But first, if I have a lot number for this car, a stock number, I'm gonna drop it down below. Okay, so down below in the description box will be a link to this car if, it's a big if, I decide to sell it. I don't know if I should sell it through Copart. I don't know if I should sell it through IAA. But either way, I'll have a link for it down below if I can get one in time. This video was recorded on the new GoPro Hero 10 Black. Tell me what you think. Do you notice a difference? Does it not make any difference at all? I don't know. I'm happy to say that I've run through the entire battery recording this video in 4K30 and the camera has not overheated at all. Not once, not had a single overheating problem so far. That is very impressive. I'm very happy about that because my nine overheated constantly. I only had one issue with this camera today and that is it locked up. One of the first things I did today trying to use it, it just locked up, it froze up. I had to shut it down and restart it. Haven't had any more issues after that. So, so far I personally am really enjoying the 10 Black. If you like it too, drop those comments down below and tell me if you notice any type of improvement in the video quality. Now we're going to get out of here because I'm hungry. I got to go get something to eat. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, share it with your friends, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, hit the thumbs up button, drop those comments down below. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. And I will see you guys again very, very soon in the next one. Well, hell, if you stuck around till the end of the video, I figured I'll throw something a little extra in there for you. Look, we got, we got the 57 Plymouth sitting here purring like a kitten man i didn't drive it today today's the first day i haven't driven this thing since i got it running we got the 68 pontiac tempest sitting here should fire right up guarantee you yes sir oh yeah what a beautiful old car Man, it's a shame I'm getting rid of it. it. Really is. Crying shame I'm getting rid of this car. I hate that I'm getting rid of this car. I love this car. I really love this car. Uh, but you know, it is what it is, man. I put some miles on her. I have. She's been good to me. She really has. But uh, and if people are probably wondering, like, why am I getting rid of it? Well, but just wait, guys. Wait till I tell you what I got out of it. You're gonna die because you know what I paid for it. I got about twenty thousand dollars invested in this car. 
and uh, I'll do a separate video telling you what we sold it for and whether it's a profit or loss. Uh, I'll let you take your guess down below, but I got some big news coming, guys. Something big is happening in my life, and uh, you know, sometimes that happens. And then here we go. What do you think of the nighttime quality of the GoPro Hero 10? Is it any good? I don't know. From what I'm seeing on my camera, it looks far better than anything I had on the 9. But uh, we'll take a quick walk around this car here. At night, you can see all the lights are working. Let's go check the back lights as well. This is where you really uh, see if it does any good at night. Look at that. Listen to her purr. Listen to this. Not even the slightest misfire, man. Nothing. Let's check out these, these classic Chrysler green gauges, right? Look at this. Does that even come off as green? It's kind of green. It is kind of green. And then you got your, your green over here as well. You got your, uh, your shift lever indicators here, transmission indicators. I got to put some, uh, I got to put some, uh, power steering fluid in it. Almost forgot. I am going to take care of that right now. But there it is, guys. I figured I'd just throw you a little something extra. It's pretty rare. I never do that. Um, but I figure, hey, if you take the time to watch the whole video, then I guess the least I could do is add a little bit of footage for you at the end. We got all this stuff running, man. Every bit of it running. And all of it sounds really, really good. This is by far my favorite car, though. Truly. And I can already tell you the video quality is far superior on the 10 as far as night quality goes because I have shown this before uh, on video when it's dark and you can't even see the instrument cluster. You can't even see it. It doesn't even, doesn't even show. And with that, we're out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Hey, real, real quick, real quick. I know I keep interrupting the video when it's supposed to be about over or whatever, but stock number for this will be down below, okay? We've got this listed on IA. We've got the Mercedes on IA as well. So stock number for this and the Mercedes will be listed in the respective video. So stock number for this down below, even if it's not ready yet, go ahead and put it on your watch list if it's something you're interested in bidding on, guys. And I need to apologize. I was reviewing the footage from this car uh, as I was in editing, and I realized the video footage was uh, all shaky. It was really bad. Um, I accidentally had the stabilization turned off on the new GoPro. New camera, guys, mistakes. I apologize. I can assure you from now on, the video quality will be normal. It will not be shaky, and I hope I didn't make too many of you dizzy. Thank you again for watching.